My name is Christopher McDowell. I'm a political anthropologist in the Department of International Politics at City University of London. My CREST project looks at diaspora politics. Uh, the Sri Lankan civil war ended in 2009 with the defeat of the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam. The final battles of that conflict brought mass civilian casualties, uh, human rights abuses and crimes against humanity. The international community led by the UN and international civil society have demanded since that time that the Colombo government in Sri Lanka put in place legal and other mechanisms whereby justice could be delivered to the relatives of those who lost their lives and through, the, through which the wider process of reconciliation could take place. The work that I'm doing, the research, is being conducted jointly with uh, Gemma Coyantes Celador, uh, who is at the Shrivenham campus uh, of Cranfield University, and with my colleague Natasha de Silva uh, at City University of London, and it's funded by Crest. And we seek to understand the response of the Sri Lankan diaspora, that's overseas, uh, the overseas Sri Lankan community, particularly the Tamil diaspora, uh, to the war's violent conclusion. During the almost 30 years of civil war, Tamil diaspora politics was dominated to a large extent by the extensive, well-organized and well-funded presence of the LTT, the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, who were fighting for a separate state in Sri Lanka. Um, it was assumed that the nature of the defeat in 2009 would further strengthen that Elamist movement that was campaigning for a separate state, campaigning and fighting for a separate state in Sri Lanka. And for a very short time, and in the angry aftermath of that defeat, support for the LTT visibly rose, particularly among the young in European capitals. But rather quickly, this support evaporated, and pro-Elamist politicians failed to capture the spirit of the moment. Party structures collapsed and in the political vacuum that was created, new politicians emerged, uh, many with cosmopolitan interests and an agenda to support human rights, international justice and formal reconciliation processes as the preferred way forward in Sri Lanka. Our research will examine the impetus behind this shift from extremist to more moderate politics. It will consider the acceptance of new ideas by second generation Tamils, a new role for women in private and public life, and consider the reasons for the failure of the LTT to seize the post-defeat agenda. The project will compare the, the course of Tamil diaspora politics with other conflicts that are at different stages but in which diasporas play an important role. And it will also look at opportunities that governments might have to engage uh, with diasporas related to conflicts at different stages of their evolution. Uh, more information on this project will be available through the CREST website.